Hello guys. Uh, let's go to another video. Today I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you about dependent values that on dependent fields. Um yeah, out of the box we have some examples. But I will show you also a different example. So let's go to the incident table. I'm gonna show you how this subcategory field change based on the category field. So this is uh, this is done by this dependency value that you can configure in this the, in the dictionary. So in this case, if I want subcategory to be dependent on any value here, I go to the configure dictionary by click right click with the mouse in the name of the field. So in the dictionary of the subcategory, we have the choices. This is a static choice. And in this case, uh, it depends on the category field where you can define the dependent field tab. You just flag this as true and then you can select any field from the, the table itself, in this case, incident. And then you pass the dependent in the dependent value. You pass the value of the the fields that are uh, restricting filtering value. So in this case, it's category. So category values are passed here. So the subcategory, in this case, for instance, Oracle, you only be shown when you select category database. So that's it's interesting and yeah this is an out of the box example and what i'm gonna show you different is when you want to use a reference field as a as a dependent value so in this case i'll come back to the incident table let's open change the view to default view because you can see more uh, fields here and yeah so I will I will restrict based on the service value in this case service is a uh, reference field to CMDB size service table so if I want to use a value from here to filter any list of values in other fields, I do the same as you as you saw in the subcategory. But instead of pass the string value, in this case, these two fields they are strings. They are just a list of strings, right? So when you have a reference field, so you need to pass the sysid independent value. So in this case, uh, let let's try this service i will open the record to copy the sys id so with the service you can come here and click copy sys id and let's try with channel channel there is no restriction but i will add one based on the service. So basically clicking advanced advanced view check use dependent fields as true and now we 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 choose the service field here as you can see service field and here we can let's just filter out this Okay, so yeah, these are the values we can see in the form. So yeah, there is no dependent value here. But let's try for three of them. I copied the sys ID of the SAP Enterprise Service, ser a business service, and then I can just paste here and here. In here so now only this 
only these three values, they will only sh be shown when you select the service, in this case, SAP Enterprise Services. Otherwise, the other options will, will be shown. So that's the idea here. It's handy. Unfortunately, you can do this for variables, so you can you can take advantage of the of this in the service portal. And yeah, but at least in the backend in the platform view, you can do you can do this. So coming back to incident tables, table, and back to default view. Let's open. And yeah, service field is empty, so you can see now only three options that they don't have dependent value here on it. And now by selecting the first the service we define it, and then you back to channel, so you can see only the options that are related with the CSID. It's I think it's handy. And yeah, depends on your case, but yeah, it's low code and quick to do. Okay, hope you hope you guys like it. And yeah, thank you. See you.